Hi there, I'm Andy from UVM Extension Ag Engineering. Welcome to the lab. Today in the lab, I want to show you a whole bunch of cleaning tools that you could consider to use on your farm. Now all the tools today I'm going to show you are of the brand Vican or Vican and or Remco, which is a partner company um, out of Denmark, and they make superb cleaning tools. Uh, a lot of what they use goes into the food and beverage industry, so uh, food manufacturing, that sort of thing. So they really have an eye towards cleanability and produce safety uh, down in their roots, which is what we're looking for uh, for use on farms as well. So they have a variety of brushes, squeegees, floor brooms. We'll show you all of that in just a minute. Let's get started with brushes. So there are a variety of brushes available in order to suit your needs to clean all kinds of equipment, tools, surfaces, locations, whatever, from simple hand, sc hand scrubbers to long and narrow brushes to get into these, uh, you know, hard to reach places. Um, those are really great. They've got traditional scrub brushes like you see here. This has a nice soft bristle, uh, or you've got these over here. It's a nice harder bristle for getting some of that hard to get off uh, materials. All these tools are available in five key colors, and those are green, white, blue, yellow, and red. One brush that I think would be particularly useful to farmers would be these style brushes here that are round um, and kind of have bristles coming out in all directions. This is another example of one here. It's called a tank brush, and I think it would be useful for getting into the corners of things like uh, tanks, greens tubs, um, wash basin, basins, stuff like that, that a brush like this is gonna run into the corners and be a little bit harder to get into there. So using a brush like this, adding a handle to it, will all of a sudden make it easy to get into uh, your greens washing tanks. So I think this would be a neat one to try. Haven't tried it uh, in that application yet, but I look forward to, and another video will be on that coming up, so stay tuned for cleaning totes and cleaning tanks. This brush will get used for sure. Um, I like this brush here. It's small, it fits in my hand nicely. I think they call actually this one a nail brush. It's a fairly fine bristle, but it's got a good grip on it, and I think it'd be a good kind of general cleaning brush. I'd say one of my favorites is probably one of these as well, these short handle brushes. Um, because you have good control over them, they're also quite comfortable to just hold on the top when you really need to scrub a surface well. Um, they also have this, that style in a longer handled brush, so if you're reaching into something deeper um, or reaching inside of equipment, longer handle might be useful. And again, in different, different colors so you can cord, color coordinate uh, based on uh, the, your location or cleaning environment or you know just so you know that the purple brush is always used for whatever. Uh, while I was talking about tank brushes and curved, they also have this tiny little brush here, which is pretty slick because not just like these that uh, stand out straight, but it's got some fanning to it uh, that might be a little bit better to get into round surfaces or small uh, buckets and things. Um, it's just a nifty little brush. One thing that Vican has come up with is they have the UST technology or ultra safe technology. And that's what this pattern is that's different than this style. And uh, this ultra safe technology is a different way of implementing hygienic design into brushes. These bristles are molded into the brush themselves as opposed to this style uh, which is the general drill and staple or drill and press, or sometimes they'll epoxy them in there as well. Which, as you can imagine, trying to get in here uh, to clean, like these bristles are clean, you have this hole inside the bristles that is gonna collect stuff and it's never gonna come out. So 
And that's a fundamental challenge when you're talking about foodborne pathogens and produce safety risks uh, regarding to food. So that is where they came up with this design, which uh, has a molded bristle, so therefore there's less places for debris and bacteria to harborage inside the brush itself. So the brush itself is designed to be cleanable. Another thing is that the surface of these is clean. A lot of generic brushes that you might get at the hardware store have a texture to them, which may feel nice, may have a good grip, but that texture is not gonna come clean itself. Smooth surface, um, all one piece design, molded bristles. The pattern of the bristles uh, is also engineered A for great uh, cleaning um, direction and surface and everything like that, but uh, plenty of room in here so you can clean in between the bristles and it's not gonna hold stuff uh, in between here like trying to clean out this brush would be. Before I show you too many more tools, I just wanna say uh, I'm not sponsored by RS quality products or anything, but that's where I chose to pick up most of this stuff. Um, they had a really good online catalog. I've also uh, seen that you can get these tools from places like uh, Granger or Zorro. Uh, we will have a link down below uh, to a fact sheet that has all kinds of information uh, written up explaining everything that I'm talking about today with more links to retailers, so you can check it out. Uh, but I got these from RS Quality, um, and honestly, I found the best way was to go to the, the Vican or Remco website, find their products catalog, which looks just like this, and be able to flip through that PDF where I can see all the, all the options of brushes and then go and select the colors, select the firmness of the bristles, and things like that. So that's the easiest way to find what you're looking for. Go to the manufacturer's website, find their brochure, and then you can find the part numbers. Once you find the part numbers, you can buy it anywhere online. So we'll set these aside and talk about the next product. The next product I'd like to show you guys today are these buckets. Now, why spend extra money on a fancy bucket when a five gallon pail or a general bucket will do? Well, they do have some advantages. Not only does it have a really nice handle, but it's got mold, it's molded in the back, so it's easy to grasp and pour out uh, when you're done. Uh, it's got a handy hook here so you can hang up the lid. It has a lid, which is uh, also a nice feature to keep dust and debris um, or to discourage use for anything besides cleaning. And then on the inside, there are some measurements as well. So um, you can add in the appropriate ratios of cleaning solutions or sanitizers, whatever. Um, you can mix that up based on the measurements here. And uh, at, like everything else about the company, it is made with hygienic design. So everything about it is got nice smooth radiuses. It's all one piece molded. There's no seams, no nooks and crannies. Uh, so it's easy to clean. It's gonna be easy to stay clean. Uh, I like these buckets. They're available in uh, three different sizes is what I've got here today. They might have another one too, I can't remember. Um, but they've got these three sizes. Honestly, this, this bucket I think would be um, the best size, it's three gallons. This one here would work too, a little bit smaller. And then they have this big one. This big one's got really nice handles on it, but uh, it's gonna be a lot heavier when full of water. It's actually a pretty hefty uh, bucket in itself, but they upgraded the handle, um, very heavy duty, and uh, I think it would work well for, for the big jobs. Um, with these, buckets is they also have these hangers available and these hangers can be mounted to a wall and then you can hang up the bucket to dry in between uses. So um, I'll demonstrate that here. The lid can hang on this hook and then the bucket is designed to be hung upside down and it goes inside of the handhold and then uh, just sits onto there. So this hangs on a wall just like so and it's gonna not collect any dust and debris in between uses, hung up to dry and it's there ready for action by just picking it up. I really like that. This hanger also is designed to hold the smaller bucket as well. Just hooks on the handle, swings over here 
and hangs. So it's got two notches. So whether you have the smaller bucket or the medium bucket, um, it will rest either one just fine. Some jobs are gonna require more scrubbing than what a typical brush can do. And that's where these scrubbers can come in really handy. Kind of like the green side of a sponge, uh, these are 10 inches long and about an inch thick. So they're gonna last longer and cover a lot more area than your typical kitchen sponge. They're available in three different courses. So you've got a soft, a medium, and a firm, um, which you can definitely tell based on how squishy they are um, and how rough it is. This brown one is very stiff uh, and will really do some scrubbing depending on what you're cleaning. You've got three different grades there. And you can get these um, holders in a couple different designs, whether you want a handle for handheld scrubbing or uh, you can get them so you can screw a long handle onto it or a short handle like this too and give you something else to hold on to, um, which that's all just screws in by hand. Again, all one piece so it's easy to clean. Or you can screw on like a bigger mop handle and scrub deeper inside large tanks, large equipment. Um, gives you that option there. These hook on really easily. They just, they have pointy little fingers here that uh, go in, grasp that. We'll call it a sponge. It's not a sponge, it's a scrubber, but you just set that on top, lift these up, squeeze them down, and it's there. So there's a variety of scrubbers. I've never saw industrial scrubbers until I started shopping around. Um, but these would certainly do a good job cleaning. The next cleaning tool I'll talk about is scrapers. Now there's a variety of scrapers available as well. Everything from a big handheld scraper to clean off surfaces to smaller handheld um, scrapers to get into smaller spaces. Uh, you can get these in a stainless as well, which is the sharpest, heavy, dutiest putty knife I've ever seen. It's got a really nice handle. I'd want to order these for um, all kinds of woodworking projects because this is a heavy duty, rugged, very sharp tool. Um, would definitely scrape things clean. Uh, they've got some with these pre-molded handles. Like I said, they're all one piece. So that's really slick. Um, minus this, obviously, you've got one little seam here, but that's pretty easy to clean around. And then they have some like this that you can screw on other handles. So if you need a little bit more reach, you can use a short handle or you can use longer handles like this or the mop handle I just showed you and screw it on as well to get those further away, harder to reach locations. And then they've got these, it's more like a paddle or a bigger scraper. Um, you know, variety, a variety of uses. So you've got all kinds of stuff here. Nice big scraper there. Another one here. Guess I ordered two of them. Um, there you go. Maybe you need two with uh, two different handles. So uh, you can reach different stuff. So that's some of the options on scrapers available. Now this next item is scraper related um, and could be used as a scraper. It's called a food hoe. Um, this food hoe is used for dragging product out of a piece of equipment. I could see it being used in a barrel washer. And I think it would be really useful for that and obviously easier to clean and a dedicated tool than just the typical garden hoe or snow broom that you might be using. Um, they come in a various lengths of handles. So you, you buy the two pieces separately. Um, so you can choose how long of a reach you need. You can get them in a variety of colors as well. So here's the single molded paddle and then the handle screws onto that. Um, so there's a food hoe for you to check out. It's got curved on one side, square on the other. I think that would work quite well um, in a barrel washer. While we're talking about bigger tools here, check out this shovel. This shovel is all one piece molded plastic. Um, gray or black could be used to, as a dedicated floor drain shovel, for example. It's, uh, I believe 10 inches wide, so it should fit in some big trenches. Um, 
or gutter style drains. Pretty nifty, nice and short. Might not be so great, uh, you know, if you're doing like digging with it, but if you're just like pulling stuff out, um, could, could work well. It's pretty neat there. And check out this shovel. This is a all one piece molded shovel. Supposedly they say it's an ergonomic handle. A um, little bit longer than that. <coughs> and it's slotted. And this slotted shovel, I think would be great for sifting or a sieve shovel is actually what it's called. And I think it might work good for shoveling greens out of a giant bulk tank. So I'm gonna give that a try as well. So stay tuned to see how this sieve shovel works for scooping greens out of a giant bubbler tank. We'll give it a go. Another molded shovel in yellow, nice short handle. Looks like it's uh, pretty much identical to that gray one here. And then they've got this dust pan. Um, this is what goes with what they call the lobby broom. So it's a vertical dust pan, nice and ergonomic. And then it's got a spot here to hold, hold your broom as well. The next items I'd like to show you are floor brushes or brooms. Now they're available in a variety of lengths. You've got short brushes here, uh, which would be nice for getting into tight spaces in between the equipment that may be permanently installed or not, uh, not moving very frequently. And then you've got the traditional style, larger floor brooms. Now you can get them even bigger than this um, and in a variety of colors as well. Now something like this might be great for scrubbing drains. These with a firmer bristle or often shorter kind of this style is called a deck scrubber. Um, this is also a deck scrubber because it's, um, would be used for, you know, hose down, soap, soap your floor, scrub it really well sort of deal. Versus this here, a little bit softer, um, would be good just for like general sweeping of dry dust and dirt. Similar to this one here, it's an angled lobby broom, they call it. So it's good to get into the corners or against walls a little bit because the handle is angled. So there's a couple different ones. You can see here, this has the ultra, ultra safe technology design to it as well. So it's a brush that's gonna stay clean and be easy to maintain. Now, like I said, you can get all kinds of handles in different lengths or colors to match your tools. Um, most of them now are all um, one piece design. So it's all one molded piece of plastic, um, but you can get them um, in like an aluminum pole. I think they're phasing out of the fiberglass poles available, but this here is gonna be, you know, a little bit more rugged for uh, something like this. Now, next up on floor attachments are squeegees. And I do have a couple of these out on a couple of farms and they love them. Uh, the growers fight over who gets to squeegee because they've never had one work so well. So the one they have is kind of like this. It's all one piece molded uh, rubber uh, blade on side of a plastic uh, frame there. Uh, they have a couple other uh, options available. Again, you can get them in different sizes. Uh, you can get them nice and short, which is good for a table like this. If you had a wet table, uh, stainless sinks, you can get a little short handle for cleaning surfaces like this. But if you've got really big floors, you can get really big squeegees. And I think you can even go up larger than that. They've got this single blade uh, molded design, which is flexible, works really well, but obviously is not replaceable. You have to replace the whole head, which is a bit of uh, an annoyance and, and wasteful. So they came up with this design too, which has two blades and, and the two blades catch water better. So it's uh, a better squeegee. Uh, also, this has a replaceable cartridge, which you can uh, remove and replace. So you can put new blades in this new head. That's a nice benefit. And then they also have this style here that is uh, softer, more foam-like, and it's intended for um, food manufacturing places with tile floors or grout type situations. So this might work well on a little bit rougher concrete too. I've, 
I have yet to play with that as well. It's a softer material, so it's probably not gonna last as long. You can very easily remove that and get replacement cartridges so you don't have to replace everything new. You can just get new foam for it. Now I'm gonna talk about brushes again, this time um, pipe or tube brushes. Now these are available in a variety of sizes depending on the size of the pipes you're cleaning. Anything from half inch to two inch and then once you get bigger than that, uh, you can get this style which I think is a three. So you can get them in all the sizes you need. Not only can you get them in different diameters, but you can get them in different handle lengths. I got these for demo purposes. I thought it would probably work just fine. But if you need to reach down deep into something, you've got long brushes as well, even longer than this. Now these take the same handles as all the other tools, which is pretty slick. So if you need uh, a varying in length or you need more strength to get a good grip on it, uh, you can do that by screwing it onto the end of this. Like the other tools, you can get them in different colors, much like this one's green and this one's white. Um, same brush, just color coordinated. Uh, and like this here, this is actually for scrubbing the top sides of exposed pipes. So if you've got a piece of PVC that's collecting dust, uh, you can hook it on it and scrub the PVC that way. So that's what this curved brush is for, is for cleaning the outside of round things. Also, uh, you can add a handle on it for extending your reach, maybe way up high. So I've got just a few tools left to show you today. Uh, this one here is a really fancy measuring pitcher. It's got a scale on it uh, with both ounces, milliliters, and UK ounces on it, uh, clear so you can see the liquid inside. Got a really nice handle. Again, it's like everything else, all one piece molded, so it's easy to clean um, and easy to pour. So that's a nifty little pitcher. And then the last thing I wanted to show you guys was uh, these tool hangers. So these tool hangers are available as well. They screw to a wall and they're also hygienically designed. So. They're all um, plastic molded one piece design, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is a three tool holder. So it's used to hold the handle of a tool and then maybe a couple of brushes on it. So might be good to have a couple of these um, depending on the number of tools that you have or if you have a whole lot of tools all hanging in one spot, you've got this five tool rack, which can hold obviously three long handled things and then um, a couple of hooks here. Now, these hooks also work well for handled tools or these handles clip right in there nice and snug. Now, obviously, if this was on a wall, it'd be a little easier than just holding it, but as you can see, they just latch in there nicely um, and they're gonna, they're gonna stay put. So, that's really nifty. I really like these, um, not that expensive. And these parts are replaceable as well. And because it's uh, hygienically designed, it's easy to clean. And like I said, they can be taken apart. So um, these here, it looks like I actually put this one in upside down. Um, it has pins in it and these pins come out. Once these pins come out, you can remove the rubber strap. So you can then get inside of that to clean it all out. Um, these brackets just snap on this rail, which comes off like so. And it's got uh, brackets on the back where you can screw it to the wall and these snap in place. So you've got these little um, mounting brackets. You mount these on the wall and then they s slide, you know, you can slide the track onto the brackets. And then these uh, clips just clip over the rails. Um, so you can adjust them and move them around depending on the spacing of your tools and whatnot. So like that. And then in order to put this back in, you just line up the holes and drop the pins. So you can get new pins if they break, but that's the nice part is you can take it apart for cleaning compared to other tool hangers out there that just aren't designed to be cleaned. So these hangers are pretty slick and something to check out for sure.
So there you have it. That is an overview of some of the cleaning tools that you could use on your farm. So thanks for watching this video, overviewing some cleaning tools that you can use on your farm. If you like this video, make sure you like it. If you wanna see more, make sure you subscribe. And if you want some links to know where to buy this stuff, check out the blog post linked below. Um, thanks for watching and have fun cleaning.